Hey everyone, today we're going to look at assigning static IP addresses to clients connecting to the Synology VPN server, specifically for OpenVPN. Now this tutorial isn't going to go through actually setting up and configuring OpenVPN on VPN server, as there are already tons of tutorials that actually show you how to do that. But in the simplest and quickest way, you pretty much check off a checkbox, determine if you want your VPN clients to access your server's LAN, and export a configuration file that you'll then modify. While it's not a necessarily complex procedure, it's probably a good idea if you could find a tutorial online either on YouTube as a video, or you can kind of just Google search it and, and find some written instructions. So I'm not going to actually walk through all the commands that need to be run, but there's two important points that I kind of want to make. So the first is that you want to be able to SSH into your Synology. So I made a quick 90 second video that shows you how, and I'll link that in the description. The other important point is that pretty much everything we're doing today is all command based. So very little is actually through Synology's DSM. For that reason, it's a really good idea to just check out the written instructions I put in the description. Uh, it's very easy to actually, you know, follow along with the video and pretty much just type in exactly what I'm typing in the same way. But for your own benefit, it's better if you check out the written instructions, you actually read what you're supposed to do, read what you're doing, and you know, kind of implement it the way that you need to implement it for your system. So to give you a high level overview of what we're doing and how we're doing it, we're pretty much setting it up so that user accounts in Synology uh, that connect to your VPN will be given a specific IP address when they connect from a VPN client. So it's important to know that by default, whenever a VPN client connects, they'll be given a dynamic IP address. So for the majority of people, they won't actually care what IP address those clients have. And you know, this is really just for specific scenarios where you need to ensure that the client IP address will always be the same. So if you have a, a device on an external network uh, that you know connects to your VPN as soon as it turns on, and you need to make sure that that IP address is the same every single time, that's kind of what this use case is for. So pretty much all the instructions will be the same for everybody, but the distinction will be when I create the two files for my user accounts, which is VPN user one and VPN user two, that's when you'll have to actually substitute your user accounts. And at that point, that's kind of where you'll configure the IP addresses that, they, that you want those accounts to have. So the majority of the time, you're kind of assigning an IP address to a device. However, when you're using Synology's VPN server, you're actually assigning an IP address to a user account. So it doesn't matter where you actually sign in with that user account, no matter what device it is, you will always have that IP address. The only thing that you wanna make sure is that every single user account is actually assigned an IP address that is at least four away, meaning that my first IP address that I'm assigning is 10.5.0.10, my second IP address is 10.5.0.14. If you wanted to do a third one, it would be 10.5.0.18. So you'll see that I assigned two different IP addresses to two different user accounts, and I quickly connected to them from my, my mobile phone. And you have to make sure that you do it from an external network. If you try to do it from your internal network where the VPN server is set up, it won't work. And when I do, you'll see that I'm actually connecting with those IP addresses. So basically, like I said before, every single time I connect from that user account, I will always have that IP address. So that is the entire setup of this process. And um, in an upcoming video, probably within the next one or two weeks, I'm gonna show you what I'm actually utilizing this for. And it's something that I think is pretty cool. Um, so if you wanna see what it is, please subscribe. I, I thank you for watching. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.